It's been quite some time since I've actually sat down and reviewed a full makeup collab makeup collection. And when I write in this makeup collection, I couldn't not. <laughs> oh yes. So I know it's a little bit controversial. I know She Glam is basically Shane's makeup brand, but I have to say I've used quite a few of their products before in the past, and do you know what? Their makeup really ain't half bad. I'm gonna push these back a wee bit. So I wasn't sent this or anything, I did purchase this myself and I basically got the whole collection so it came in this really really nice box. Where do you see this? Look at the inside of the lid. So it's obviously a portrait of her from here up. <laughs> so nice. So we have three of the Flora lip tints and we also have three shades of the Self Portrait Cream Blushes. We have like a wee clip here and it's just like a wee rose clip. Is it four? Yeah, we have four brow pens and of course in the center we have the masterpiece palette so i know i have my brows done but i'm gonna use a wee bit of this just kind of see what it's like see how pigmented it is and everything i've took the shade espresso which i'm guessing is going to be the darkest shade even told you what this collection is. <laughs> Shoot me. Oh, what a wanker. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's kind of rewind ourselves back a little bit. I am so, so sorry. So obviously this collection is in collaboration as an, and is inspired by Frida Kahlo. And of course, look at the palette. We obviously recognize her, right? As far as I'm aware, who is she? <laughs> is she a feminist? Do you know what? This this video, why did I even wake up this morning? I'm gonna Google why she's famous, okay? She's a Mexican painter. Yeah, she's a Mexican painter known for her many self-portraits and work inspired by nature and artifacts of Mexico. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't really know if that's actually doing anything. It's obviously supposed to just kind of leave wee hair like strokes. I really like the wee pen though, like it's really really fine. So it's just going to be like really nice and natural to kind of mimic like eyebrow hairs. But it doesn't really seem to do much. And you know what, I would say it's probably because I have that much crap on my eyebrows already. Like I, I have my eyebrows done so. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. You can obviously buy the whole collection and I think it was only like 30, it was 30 something pounds. But obviously you can buy each product individually if that's obviously easier for you or if you just kind of want something and not really fussed on the rest. So honestly, I would say from my first impressions of not really trying all the products but just seeing it all, the blushes look good. So these are obviously wee cream blushes and the shades of these, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Let's just get into it. So uh, this shade here is Folk Art. Is that a bit of me or is that a bit of me? <laughs> How stunning is that? So it definitely has like a really orangey coral undertone. This next shade here is a flower crown, so it's just a really nice hot pink. Lastly, Modern Woman. So this one here is definitely within like the red blush family, but as you can see, it still has like a wee bit of an orangey undertone there. If I kind of put folk art and them two together, oh, even these two maybe blend it together. Beautiful. Look at that pink. Okay, they're not the best swatches. This is why I don't do swatches. <laughs> but this one here, Flower Crown. This one here is Folk Art. And then this one is Modern Woman, I think it is. I think I'm just gonna be predictable and go in with Folk Art. I'm gonna be taking this on my BK Beauty 108 brush and I'm just going to dip in just a couple of times to lift up some of the product and just start to apply it to the skin because I obviously don't know yet like, how pigmented it is and how it's gonna wear and to the skin and I've obviously not set my skin just yet but I have set my under eyes and just left like my cheek area free from powder just to see how it applies 
on unpowdered skin and powdered skin because I'm going to bring it over as well onto like my under eyes where I've powdered it. But yeah, it seems to be like a really, really nice and lightweight formula, kind of like a hybrid between a cream blush and a powder blush. It seems to kind of have that really nice like silky velvet feel to it. It's kind of like a moussey texture as well. That's So we have moussey, silky, velvet, <laughs> cream to powder. <laughs> But it just seems like really, really nice and lightweight and whipped on the skin to the point where it's actually just really nicely melting into the skin as well and just looking seamless. And it's obviously just given like a really, really nice, like soft, natural finish to the skin as well. Well, we try a wee bit of the, what she does, this modern woman. Again, the tiniest wee bit. There is no difference in my skin of how the blush has actually applied to my set under eyes and to where I haven't really set. It hasn't really broken up my under eyes. It hasn't looked cakey or anything. It's not uplifting any of the underlying product or anything. Definitely very natural. So if that's something that you prefer in a blush and you like to have the freedom to kind of build it up if you want to, love that. <laughs> how cute. Noticed there is something a wee bit weird whenever I was actually buying this on the Shein website, and I just noticed that there was like something a wee bit different about the eyeshadow palette. But this is the packaging, it's absolutely beautiful. Once we open it, this is the palette, like, this is the eyeshadows, and you're just gonna be thinking, What the fuck? That's what I was thinking too. So if I just give you a wee close up, you can see the individual squares. It's obviously a nine pan palette, but what you, what you have to do is like wipe it off <laughs> and then it will reveal the shadow that's underlying this portrait. <sighs> yeah, that's what they're doing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, hold on. So you see the way that she kind of dusts it off, that top layer, and then it's like the shadows. How does that work? Apparently it does have a mixture of matte shimmers in it. It has a really nice mosaic of a natural shadow, so it doesn't really have any color or like, you know, reds or blues or anything. It just is quite nice and natural, which is quite nice. So will we just get to fingering? <laughs> get the dust in the way. Oh, I don't want to. It seems too nice to ruin, but we're, we're going to have to. I'll zoom you in so you can see the goodness. We do this one first. Oh my god. I don't know how this is going to look though, like once I'm actually finished. Like, I just kind of feel like it'll just look messy. Does that make sense? Like it's just Unless you get right round all the corners and the edges. This is weird. Okay, so the colour has actually already started to appear. It's actually coming off relatively easy. I thought it was actually going to mix in with the eyeshadow, but it seems to be whatever that layer is, it's not. I genuinely was thinking it was going to like mix in with the eyeshadow or... <laughs> Hear me out. I was even thinking like this top layer was going to actually be the eyeshadow <laughs> and you had to like mix the pigments together. Okay, I just went off camera there and I scratched off these two. I actually scratched it off and videoed it for my mum. Because <laughs> I knew she would appreciate something like this. Um, okay. I'm just going to be completely honest, I don't like this. I, I love the concept of it, like I feel like if you're just going to, if you're not going to touch it, maybe, but then that's obviously a waste. But this is just, it, it's just a wee bit messy, it's going to look messy around the sides, around the edges, I just, I don't know. Uh, one thing I will say though is it actually is coming off pretty easy. And we have our last shade that we have to swatch off. And do you know what? I'm chloride with eyeshadow. I'm absolutely chloride. Oh, that one's a wee bit tough. So that's the eyeshadow palette. <laughs> 
so I just gonna say like yeah they definitely are are they all shimmer oh fuck off oh no hold on it says that they're shimmer and matte they're all shimmer they're all shimmer shades you know what that's fine okay we're just gonna have to put a shimmer in our crease today um, <laughs> so that's the palette itself that was a bit of an experience right <laughs> do you know what that was actually quite fun so obviously like you just have to blend and mix each eyeshadow pan with your finger until like that print has just disappeared and dissolved and it will it'll come off relatively very easy which is obviously good um and then it obviously just reveals like the neutral shadows in behind it i'm probably not going to be doing anything revolutionary <laughs> probably something quite Quite simple. I'm going to take the bronzer that I'm going to be using today, the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, and I'm actually just going to run this just within my crease because those shades, like none of them are kind of like a nice transition-ish shade. So I'm just wanting a wee bit of something just in my crease, just to add a wee bit of depth and definition. I haven't a clue what to do. <laughs> I'm going to go with this one here. It's more of a gold. I'm going to be taking this on a Made by Mitchell brush and I'm just going to pop that just over the lid. I'm actually really intrigued to see how these actually perform. I'm just going to be a wee bit of a makeup snob for two seconds. I don't know if I'm expecting much at all. I don't know. I like, do you know something? I've actually used Shane's makeup or eyeshadows, sorry, quite a few times and I've been impressed every time. They're actually really, really good. So they actually are quite good shadows. But I'm actually going to blend this shimmer shade right up to that crease. And just at the brow bone, I'm going to stop. But do a wee bit of blending. And I'm also going to bring that out a bit. It's actually not looking too bad. You know, you can definitely see like nice sheen coming off the shadow like it's not like a really really like intense pigment or glittery shimmer shadow or anything it's just like a nice wee nice wee veil of shimmer which is quite nice but i also feel like we need to obviously keep in mind the collection so i'm maybe thinking also as well like i'm pretty sure it's maybe actually inspired by her makeup, how she would have done her makeup, like the colours and tones she would have incorporated into her makeup routine or eyes or, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to think up stuff here. <laughs> you see the problem with using shimmer shadow, like up around the crease or at the outer corner and stuff is the fact that the way it catches the light, it can create shadows and stuff, so it can look patchy. So I like to just take a clean brush and just kind of go over everything and just kind of disperse that shadow away a wee bit. And I'm going to go into another wee like flat packing brush and I'm going to go to the shade above it. Oh, you can't see. There you go. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. Just kind of brighten that inner corner up a wee bit. And then just blend that onto the rest of the lid. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm going to try and deepen up this outer corner just a wee bit. Just using shimmer shadows here it just kind of feels like all kinds of wrong. <laughs> Do you know, call me crazy but I actually really like how this is looking. <laughs> I love how, like, just that wee bit of depth in the outer corner is looking so good. This is like a wee detailed blender from Jessup. I am your mother, you listen to me. Do you know, that's like the worst song I've heard in a very long time. And it's stuck in my head. Is there anything more hateful than that whenever you have a really shit song stuck in your head? So the only thing we have left to try is the lip tints and we have three shades here. We have Essel, Surreal and Kalo. So this is Essel. It's actually very similar to the blush. I'm actually maybe thinking the lip shades somewhat kind of match the three blush shades. So this one here is Kalo. 
and it's just a really nice hot pink. Surreal. It kind of looks like a wee bit of like a terracotta type of colour. I'm taking the shade Essel. I have a feeling that I'm, I'm not going to like these to be honest because I don't really do glossy lips but oh well. Yeah, so like it's a wee bit translucent. It's not like fully, like really, really pigmented. It's just like a nice wee tint with like a really high shine. That's actually really, really pretty. For it being like quite a colourful colour, it's actually quite wearable. And it feels really comfortable as well. It just kind of feels like a lip oil. So it definitely does feel like quite nice and hydrating as well. So I'm going to put, you know what, just for a nice and giggles, I'm putting it a wee bit more on. <laughs> Such a beautiful colour though, right? This lip is just really complimenting the eyes and the eyes are just complement the lip. I just kind of feel like everything's just, everything's just kind of coming together. Everything looks so, so nice. So I'm just gonna take my hair out. We'll like give everything a wee rundown. So I'm gonna start with the eyebrow tint, first of all. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't really think I gave it a fair enough shot, mainly due to the fact that I already have my brows done and I had a lot of product in my brows to start with. So I kind of find that whenever you use a wee brow tint like this and it comes with like the wee pens, if you have a lot of product on your brows or you have foundation on, because I feel like the brow tip <laughs> is so fine, it kind of struggles to actually get the pigment onto the skin. I really like the palette in terms of how my eye makeup actually does look. I'm not too sold on the actual colour story and the colour scheme and the fact that there is only shimmer shades but we obviously need to keep in mind that it's a makeup collection, it's in collaboration with somebody so it's obviously got to be themed towards that person or this particular collaboration if that makes sense. You know, it's not going to be a mixture of just random colours. These colours are obviously going to represent this person or this collaboration or you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, I think I did briefly mention that whenever I was actually doing the eye makeup look. Um, the palette itself, I kind of feel like, is it gimmicky? I don't even know, but I kind of feel like this is such a really, really nice idea and it was just something different. It was an experience of nothing else. Jesus. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've never seen a palette like this. I've never seen it as being done like this before. And honestly, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I definitely will keep this palette, even if I never use it again. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Um, I must eventually, like maybe, score around the edges to kind of make it look a wee bit cleaner. But it definitely was easy to get off, you know, like rub off. I did think that it was maybe going to mix in with the shadows, but it wasn't. It was grand with the that layer being on top of the shadows as you've seen yourselves like they actually performed well on the eyes as well um don't get me wrong they weren't like super super pigmented but they were just like a really nice wee veil of shimmer on the eyes just really nice and pretty nothing too crazy you know um i kind of feel like sometimes we're always a wee bit spoilt now when it comes to eyeshadows because we're always wanting the most pigmented shadows the most shimmery and glittery shadows where we always sometimes need to remember to take a wee bit of a step back and respect that in the respect that not every eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow needs to be like full-blown pigment or full-blown glitter shimmer shadows it's always nice to just be able to kind of customize your coverage customize your shimmeriness <laughs> or your pigment or you know whatever and it's just kind of nice to have a nice wee simple veil and like an everyday shimmer shadow or eyeshadow palette overall i feel like yeah really really nice palette and if you're a makeup collector i would really highly suggest picking this up the wee lip tints really really nicely pigmented it's got the really nice wee glossy shine to it feels really really lightweight the formula of it seems to be really nice and lightweight as well which just feels like a lip oil on the lips with just that nice wee tint there's a reason i left these to last <laughs> i feel like if you're going to pick up anything from the collection but you don't want to buy the whole collection get the blushes Honestly, I feel like if you want to get the palette just for like the novelty of it and just to kind of see it, experience it, live it. <laughs> um, but if you're actually wanting to get something from the collection that you're genuinely going to use, definitely the blushes. But these were just beautiful, really, really nice formula. Kind of had like that 
cream to powder type formula really really nice and lightweight blend onto the skin beautifully sat on the skin beautifully they honestly do have like the weirdest formula i'm trying to think like have i ever tried anything or have i got anything in my collection that these are quite similar to because see if i just like put my finger in like i'm not too sure if you'd be able to see but there definitely is like a really nice like velvety finish to them like they're just like whipped or something i don't know and the finish of them is like a nice wee soft matte by the way like there's no dew off them at all no glossiness or anything they're just like a nice wee soft matte very natural yeah really highly recommend those <laughs> i will obviously like list all these products that i used down below i will tag um the products individually and i'll also list and link the full collection that you can get as well thank you all so, so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one